everyone, so as you can see from the title, today's video is going to be a collective stationery slash back to school haul. And I say collective because I've been buying so much stationery lately that I'll probably be filming this video on several different days. Um, so this is part one and I have about 50 trillion things to show you. So get yourself a cup of tea or a nice glass of juice and something to eat, <laughs> get comfortable and enjoy the video. My first piece of advice, if you're going back to school and you're in the market for some new stationery, get yourself down to WH Smith's because honestly, they are practically giving away stationery right now. <laughs> the first little bits and bobs I have are these sticky notes and originally I just bought these ones and then today I went back and bought these ones. They were $1.24 each and they were originally $4.99 so I had to didn't I? Also for £1.24 I got some um, 96 self adhesive hole reinforcements and they are the neon colours. I got these because I use my planner a lot and it's a ring bound planner and also I use um, ring bound folders. Uh, whilst I'm at university and nothing annoys me more than when you don't want to put something in a poly pocket and the paper tears. I wish now that I'd got another one of these because it wasn't until I left the shop that I realised they were buy one get one free. I'm not sure how I missed it when it's on the front there but they were on offer anyway. I believe they were one pound something. It was less than 149 anyway. These are cupcake paper clips, they had them in all sorts of colours. I got the purple and magenta coloured ones because I thought they would match my planner. I got these a few days ago now so they are out of the wrapping but these were £1.49 and they are to-do post-it notes. I love to-do lists, I love post-it notes, combine the two together and you have a perfect product in my opinion. Next, also for one twenty-four, I got the set of two academic calendar stickers and they go from September 2014 to August 2015 and I'm going to stick these on the first day of the month um, in my planner or on my transparent ruler so that I can see um, which day. Um, a date falls on because that is something that really annoys me when somebody says oh what day is so and so and my phone might be at the bottom of my bag and I'll try and flip through my calendar to see what day it is. Next we have this little jar and inside I have, oh I'm throwing it everywhere, I have various different binder clips and I also got these from Wilkinson's and they were also £1.24. They come in all different colours, the yellow one, an orange one, there's also purple, blue and green. I absolutely love these and I have to admit to you, it took me a little while to figure out how to use them <laughs> because I'm an idiot. Next thing I got from WH Smith is a lot of Sharpies. <laughs> um, they have an offer on at the moment where if you buy any back to school stationery, you can get a set of 24 Sharpies for um, 6 99 and I thought, who doesn't need 24 sharpies so I bought them and I also have a set of four pastel sharpies in here so I have 28 in total and I will probably never use most of them. Then we have also from WH Smiths the file that I'm probably going to use for my university notes this year at least for um, my boring modules anyway. It's this beautiful leaf arch folder it's white or cream with gorgeous birds on. I absolutely loved it. It was reduced to 2 99 I believe, because it's an old collection. And then inside I have the other things that I bought. I got these dividers. I think they were £2.49. You get an index page and then you get 10 dividers um, and also you get labels um, so you can label your dividers. What I loved about these is that the dividers are made out of plastic so they're not going to go all gross. I won't need to waste any of my um, hole reinforcers on them and they're cute colours. And I thought they would be good for separating my different topics. And then finally from WH Smith I have these um, really really cool actually um, popper folder things but they have binder holes in them so you can put them into your ring binder at the moment I've just got them both in the back but they were 2 99 they're absolutely brilliant um, I have so many handouts that I need to keep from my lectures but I probably won't look at very often so I can pop them in here and finally for this part of the haul we have um, 50p post-it notes page flag marker things 
from Wilkinson's. I got these to colour code my uh, blog posts and videos in my planner. You've already seen how I use these, but I'm not sure if you've seen the actual post at Then I got a pack of Bic black biros because these are some of my favourite biros and in Walkinson's they're £1.50 um, anywhere else you go they're normally about £3.50 so I snapped up a pack whilst they were there um, because I don't know about you guys but I run out of pens <laughs> very very quickly mainly because I lose most of them then I got this A6 zipper bag and what I'm going to do is punch holes in the bottom of it and I'm going to put it into the back of my planner because I've always got vouchers and things like that that I need to use up and I always lose them. So I figured this might be a good idea. Um, and it was 35p so even if I don't use it it wasn't exactly a waste of money. And then finally we have a very random item that isn't really back to school related but it is really pretty and it is the vintage floral recipe book. Uh, from Wilkinson's. It was reduced to £1.50. I'm not sure how much it was originally, but it was quite heavily reduced. It has tabs down the side, but I'm gonna cover those up and put my own tabs in. So I really need to learn to cook and I really need to find cheap, easy, healthy meals. And I am more of a handwritten person rather than going out and buying a cookbook. So I'm gonna find some recipes that I really like and I'm gonna try them out and if they work well and I like them, I'm going to handwrite them in here and add photos and stuff. So I think it's really cute. And for £1.50, again, if I don't use it, it's not too much of a weight. Hi guys, so this is probably going to be a teeny bit weird because not only have I changed camera, but I've changed hair and clothes and day. It is now like a week later and I'm filming the next part of this stationery haul. So I had a bit of birthday money and I bought a few things today and I've ordered a few things online so there will be another haul at some point. But these are the few little bits I bought today and yesterday. First of all I got these absolutely adorable bunny push pins from Ryman's. I picked them up without even thinking and then realised that my cork board broke and so I'll probably just use them on my memo board but they were only 98p, they're little white bunnies with little pink eyes and they're really really sweet. Then in Paper Chase I finally picked up a washi tape that I have wanted for months and it is the cloud one with red little hearts on, you probably can't see it at all but I've wanted it for months and months and I finally bought it and that was £3. I also bought the Owl Magnetic Page Clips for £3.50, again I've wanted these for ages, I'm probably going to use them in my planner and as magnetic bookmarks, um, they're really cute, they're four different designs and I love owls so I couldn't resist. Also from Paper Chase for £4.50 I picked up a book of post-it notes um, again for my planner and they are absolutely gorgeous. There's a list pad here, a cream one with hearts, another beigey pink one, another list one that says love in the corner and then four different types of page flags. Just two very random things. My mum and I popped to Home Bargains yesterday because my dad wanted window cleaning stuff so <laughs> yeah. And I picked up this Hello Kitty multicolour pen because it was Hello Kitty. <laughs> I never ever use multicolour pens but I think I might put it in my A5 planner and use it in there. I just thought it was really cute and they sell these in WH Smith for like £4 and in um, Home Bargains it was 99p so why not. I also got this pink notebook with bunnies on it. Um, they It's called the Bunny Love Notebook, it's so cute. They've had this in for a long time and I kept wanting to buy it and then never did and I just decided to the other day even though I've got about 10 notebooks that I need to use. I was in TK Maxx this morning and I was looking for something to store my Project Life cards in because I just have so many now that it's getting ridiculous and I was in the stationery section and I picked up this pack of two for £3.99 um, Utility Series Notebooks by Miro or Miro and they're plain on the inside and what I would like to do is start an art journal. And then yesterday my mum and I and my brothers, we went to Hobbycraft and I got some things. This pack of Project Life cards, it's called like a sample kit or a mini kit or something. Um, it was £7 and I never ever see them online anywhere but I do see them in Hobbycraft all the time. And this is the summer kit and it's definitely, definitely made up of um, 
patterns and cards and things that come with the crepe paper collections. So I was really excited to see these because crepe paper is one of my favourite scrapbooking companies. I also picked up some of their £1 letter stickers, they're the foam letter stickers because this size are perfect for Project Life. These stickers in the red kitten font were on offer for £3 and they're normally £5 so I just picked up a pack whilst I was there, although I have a feeling I may already have them, but for £3 I don't really mind. I also picked up one of the pink polka dot alphabet stickers, these were £2 I think and I look at these every time I go in and never buy them so I just decided to this time. And you get quite a lot of letters in there, there's two packs, so quite a good bargain. And finally today I popped into Tiger to get some cheap photo frames and I got this little pack of rainbow stickers and this pack of red stickers and they were two for a pound, I think. And I'm going to use these in my planner, I think they're really sweet. So yes, even though I may or may not have ordered some more stationery on Amazon this morning, that is the end of this giant stationery video. Um, I really hope you've enjoyed it, if you have any questions let me know and I will see you in my next video, bye!